Okay, in this video we're going to prove the triangle mid-segment theorem. And the triangle mid-segment theorem says that a mid-segment connecting two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and half as long. So let's take a look at what this theorem is saying. First off, let's make sure uh, we say what a mid-segment is. A mid-segment is just a segment that connects the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. So in this picture right here, this is a mid-segment. I can see that this point right here is the midpoint of this side of this big triangle. And this point right here is the midpoint of this side of this big triangle. And this segment is connecting up those two midpoints. So it's called a mid-segment. So this theorem just says that a mid-segment, which connects any two sides of a triangle, is parallel to the third side. So it's saying this segment is parallel to this side. And it's half as long. So the length of this mid-segment is half the length of that third side. So we're going to prove this by first doing something that we've done before, which is to uh, take a segment and dilate it. So let's say that we had a segment that we wanted to dilate. And let's see, just kind of draw in a segment. So here's a segment. Let's call this segment, um, let's call the segment BE. All right. And let's say I want to dilate this segment. And let's say this is my, this is my dilation point right here. I'll call this point A. And I've, I've done this before. I know if I dilate this segment, and in fact, I'm going to dilate this by a factor of 2. I know if I dilate this segment by a factor of 2, the first thing I do is I take my ruler and I would draw a line through these two points. And I draw another line going through these two points. And then I would measure the length from A to B, and I would... If I'm, if I'm dilating using a factor of 2, then I would take whatever this distance is and I'd make it twice as long to find this point right here. Let me call this point C. And then I'd do the same thing down here. I'd measure this distance here from A to E. And then I'd make this distance here twice as long. All right? And so then I would know that this, uh, my new segment then would look like this, that would be my dilated segment, and I would know that, I would actually know two things about my dilated segment. I would know that it is twice as long as my original segment, because that was what I was doing. I was dilating this by a factor of two, and I would also know that it is parallel to my original segment, because we've seen this before. Every time we dilate a segment, that, that segment, if, if it's not actually sitting on, you know, the, the dilation point, that segment is always going to be parallel to my new segment, my dilated segment, is always going to be parallel to my original segment. So basically what I have here is, let me see, ABC, let me put another point here. You can probably see this picture looks very much like this picture. And in fact, this segment here, AB and BC, these two segments here must be congruent because this distance here, this is twice as long as this distance. So these two pieces here are congruent. This distance here is twice as long as this distance. So these two pieces are congruent. And I know that this piece right here must be half as long as this one because this is a dilation of this one by a scale factor of 2. Well, this picture is essentially the same as this picture. This is a picture of a triangle, triangle ACD, with a mid-segment connecting the midpoints of these two sides, and that mid-segment is half as long as this side, and it's also parallel to that side. So we've just proven the triangle mid-segment theorem. 